So let's learn how to define the orientation string using SITK. We start by loading a raw example using SITK this time. First, uh, let's plot the image. Uh, this is only to give you a brief view of the default orientation when loading with SITK. At this point, we need to talk about how AntSpy and SITK handle the NumPy arrays internally. So let's see. For AntSpy, we can say that the internal axes are C, Y, and X. So this means that when we get the NumPy array, the dimensions are going to be C, Y, and X. And when we define the orientation string, orientation will be according to the internal axis. For example, the string RPS, the first letter will dictate the orientation of the first axis, this letter will be to the second axis, and so on. We have already talked about this. But for simple ITK, things change a bit. So, for example, so for simple ITK, internal axes are X, Y, and C. This means that the array dimensions are shifted now. Same as before, when we define orientation, this will be according to the internal axis. For example, if we use the RPS orientation string, R will be for the X axis, P for the Y axis, and S for the C axis. So, good. Now comes the main difference. With SITK, the orientation string is defined with the last letter now. For example, if we use RPS, we are saying that we want left to right in the x-axis, anterior to posterior in the y-axis, and inferior to superior in the c-axis. If we use, for example, PSR, the same goes on. So keep in mind and come back to this info whenever you want to understand how to set the orientation with SITK. Now let's use this. The function we use to define the orientation is SITK.DICOMORIENT. We pass the image and the orientation string. This will be all to reorient the image. We get the array and we plot the image. So we press enter and there we go. So we have our image. If we want to make sense of this, we can say that the last letter dictates the orientation of the first dimension. The second letter dictates the orientation of the second dimension. And the first dictates the orientation of the last dimension. But this is shifted. So remember, the S means that you are going from inferior to superior. The P means that we are going from anterior to posterior in the two-dimensional plot. And the R means we are going from left to right in the two-dimensional plot. So notice that this uh, RPS string is giving us the same result as the IAL in AntSpy. And this is due to the difference in the way that both libraries handle the arrays internally. Or we can use each orientation in the string uh, depending on the library that we are using. So great. Now you know how to manipulate the orientation of an image using AntSpy and SITK. So that's it by now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.